Hey guys, Davey here from phonebluff.com and in this video I'm going to show you the two new features that come with Face Unlock on Android 4.1 Jellybean. As you can see, I am running on the latest version of Jellybean 4.1.1. I'll go ahead and go into the security settings and show you what's new. So let's go do screen lock, tap face and lock. It's going to give you the you know normal things of saying like face and lock isn't as secure as a pin or a password. Someone who looks like you can unlock it, yada yada. We already know that. For best results, it says find an indoor spot, not too bright, not too dim and hold the phone at eye level. I've got one of them down. I've got a good uh, you know, lighting condition, but I don't have, I'm not gonna put the phone at uh, eye level because I want you guys to be able to see. So anyway, I'm just gonna put my face into this little white circle. As you can see, this little, these little green dots are circling around my face. There you go, it's completed uh, capturing my face. I'm just gonna hit continue. And of course, you have to set up a backward pattern or a pin. I'm just gonna do a pattern, make a quick L, continue, quick L, confirm and there you go you're all done to unlock your phone just look at it to improve face matching uh, by having different conditions captured so that's one thing that's new so I'll go ahead and tap on this so basically what you're gonna do is you would go to improve face matching so this is something that is an ice cream sandwich um, you tap on this guy and you know for example uh, you have to put in your password again because you're gonna be uh, putting in your face again so Anyway, you could try it in different lighting. You could do it with or without glasses, with a beard or you know without a beard. I'm not gonna shave just for this video, but uh, you know I don't have any prescription glasses I could try either. But I'll go ahead and uh, you know try to do sunglasses maybe. Let me see if I can find them. Um, you know what? Forget that. I'm just gonna hit continue, and uh, we'll just do a different angle. So you know what? We'll try it from the top. So I'll go ahead and try to see if you guys can see that. I'm going a little bit farther back. So that way, you know, it's a different position, hit done. And uh, we'll go ahead and hit home and see how it works. So we'll see the accuracy really quick. There you go, it unlocked right away. I'll do a big smile. There you go, it worked again. I'll look surprised. There you go, so you guys get it. Really accurate now, I feel like it's actually more accurate than it was in Ice Cream Sandwich. I mean, it was pretty accurate to begin with, but it looks a little bit quicker and a little bit more accurate now with Jelly Bean. Let's go ahead and go back into the face lock settings. I wanna show you the next thing, which is actually the liveness check. So obviously you guys probably saw the videos. Um, you know, you could actually take a picture and put it in front of the camera of your of yourself, or someone could steal your picture, uh, for example, and trick the phone into thinking you're there. But if you check this guy, the liveness check, it's gonna be a lot harder for you know people to actually steal your phone and do that. So what you have to do now is when you try to unlock your phone, it's gonna ask you to blink. So I have to blink, and there you go, it unlocks it. So I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like if I don't blink. So I'm just not gonna blink. And you can see it says, didn't catch your blink, and enter your pin or password. So I'm just gonna enter this guy in, and you can see it is a little bit more secure, so pretty cool. Um, other than that, everything's just about the same. I mean, you know, you have the different, you know, uh, face matching conditions you could do, so you could do it. You know, I would do it, you know, in a darker area. Um, you know, with glasses on, without a beard. I mean, it's gonna, you know, take you a while to get all the different conditions down, maybe over the course of a couple of days, but it really does make it more accurate. Um, you know, especially if you're, you know, like, for example, I had a lot of issues, you know, in the dark uh, with it, but I have noticed since I've been using Jelly Bean that, you know, even in low lighting light conditions, it is working a lot better. So definitely uh, something that, you know, I like about Jelly Bean and, uh, something that's worth checking out. So anyway, that's it for me in this video. If you found it helpful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and others. Thank you.